believe how time flies. It has been now five years that the museum is open, as the sign says, and Daniel Minnelli is the CEO. And can you believe it's been five years? I can't. I'm so excited by the progression of things on campus. We're so busy and we're so grateful for all these kids. Has it turned out to be what you expected? More. It's yeah. actually, it's such a unique city, San Antonio. They love culture, they love kids, and I am so grateful. We get a lot of really good guest intelligence from the youngest learners, because if you watch them, they show you how they learn and how they play, and that's really how we design our exhibits around the kids' interests. So many people remember, and I remember because my kids were little when it was downtown, Yes, and it was great. Small confined space, and you've just got, I mean, this is gargantuan here. It is, it's three buildings, it's about five and a half acres, about 243 interactive exhibits, and they're always being refreshed and reimagined. Right now, we're really excited about the new Spy Academy. All right, so for the inner James Bond secret agent, we've got the Spy Academy and Elijah the Spy, Spy Masters. What's your name? My name is Eli the Spy, and I'm one Eli of the Master the spy. Agents here at Spy Academy. Um, so yeah, this is our brand new Sims Foundation Spy Academy. Uh, spy Academy got a brand new facelift. We added all new technological components, including these fantastic RFID wristbands. Uh, the microchip inside of them actually allows you to interact with all of the interactors throughout Spy Academy. So by scanning your watch at various screens throughout the gallery, you're actually able to complete missions at a different station. Our spy headquarters is actually the master agent training headquarters. It spells math, and kids ah. don't actually understand that they're learning math concepts by going through and solving their questions. So while in that spy persona going through the game, they're actually learning rudimentary math concepts that will help them in their school life in the future. You get to wear your super cool spy shades and go through Spy Academy, solving mysteries, answering questions, and learning a little bit along the way. And you get to take, what, spy photos too? Yes, we actually have two selfie stations here in Spy Academy, so an individual is actually able to take a selfie here at one of our stations, and once they have uh, taken the photo, they can email it to themselves and they can see it at home. So you've got the Spy Academy, but then there's also one which I heard was making all sorts of noises. Yeah, through May we have Sound Maze, and it's really different. It's almost what they call a steampunk exhibit, meaning that it's all of these individually fabricated musical instruments created out of wood and simple found objects. But you can look at this exhibit in a simple way or a sophisticated way. It is very loud, but guests have the option of borrowing a pair of earphones. What does the uh, the future have in store? Any hints of exhibits coming up? <laughs> yes, this summer we're actually having our largest exhibit ever. And it's called Dogs, a science tale, T-A-I-L. And it's about the relationship between humans and dogs. And it's a large exhibit, it's very exciting. There's lots of activity, fun place for kids and adults. Just drag a kid along, then you can come play too. Anyone can come anytime. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Hey, you can find out more about upcoming exhibits at the museum, admission, events, and more on the website, museum.org. Give them a call at 210-212-4453.